What is going on, everyone? Let's talk about a place that sucks so bad, people in Mississippi actually make jokes about it. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Pine Bluff, Arkansas is a real-life cautionary American tale. If you look at the stats alone, Pine Bluff, Arkansas is like the Babe Ruth of suck. They've been knocking bad stats out of the park for years. This town is so bad, you'd think they're trying to win some kind of national contest or something. Pine Bluff has been nicknamed the most dangerous town in America more than once, and it's a name they've earned. Pine Bluff didn't always suck. It was kind of decent in the 1800s, I guess. I don't know. Pine Bluff was actually not that bad until, let's say, the 1960s or 70s. Factories that once bustled in the 1940s had been taken over by gangs and stripped of anything of value, and they t took what they stripped and the money they sold it for to buy drugs and... You know, you know, that type of thing. As you can see, just another town brought down by drugs and violence. Actually, really, that's kind of what brings down towns most of the time, is drugs and violence. Have you ever heard of a town that was brought down by cupcakes and tickle fights? No, it's always drugs and violence and gangs. Pine Bluff has 42,000 residents currently, and that's down from the 2010 numbers, which was about 49,000. Pine Bluff is not a place people are really flocking to these days. But that's not to say nobody does move there. If you're thinking about moving to Pine Bluff, before you do that, you should probably watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Number 10. It's in Arkansas. The first nail in the Pine Bluff coffin is the fact that it's actually in the state of Arkansas. Arkansas, in case you've been living in a prison on the island of Madagascar for the last 50 years, is not the best state in the union when it comes to pretty much everything. I did read recently that they do lead the country in hate groups, so they've got that little badge of shame going on for them. The numbers show that there's not a lot of right things going on in Arkansas. Pine Bluff doesn't help that image either. Pine Bluff is a nightmare, as the rest of this list will show you. Number nine, the headlines. If you're living in Pine Bluff, the news doesn't paint a very good picture of this place. The news coming out of this town just feeds into the general feeling of depression and despair. You have to see headlines like these real ones from the local news on a daily basis. Here they go. Pine Bluff Community Center reopens after parking lot homicide. Seven-year-old girl survives shooting in Pine Bluff. Her family says it's a miracle. Trailer filled with nearly 3,000 dead chickens abandoned in Pine Bluff. Pine Bluff, Arkansas man points a gun at police, officers shoot, and kill suspect. This is a constant. There is always a handful of really depressing headlines that help add to the reputation of Pine Bluff. And stop typing. Yes, they do have some good headlines like every other town in America. The thing is, no other town this size has headlines like those on a daily basis. Number eight, weather. Pine Bluff, among its many other issues, has a love-hate relationship with Mother Nature. They get hot summers and bitter cold winters. The river decides to come into town every once in a while and they get tornadoes. So every single year you have to worry, is your trailer going to float away or fly away? Good times in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Number seven, boarded up houses. Now this one's sort of strange, funny, and sad all at the same time. Pine Bluff has a serious amount of boarded up homes. Now, in a depressed city or town, this isn't unusual. When you have an abandoned home or property, banks that own the abandoned home will board up the house to try and deter animals and squatters from setting up residence. Cities board them up so people don't get in there and start doing drugs and turn it into a drug house. But in Pine Bluff, they have homes that are boarded up by the homeowners, and the homeowners are still living in the home. The town is so dangerous that they have found that this is just a low-budget version of having boarded up windows. It's like they're getting ready for a hurricane, but they aren't. They're getting ready for the next wave of tweakers to wander down their street. Number six, the STD rate. Pine Bluff has a serious STD rate, sexually transmitted disease in case you don't know. They also have a high teen pregnancy rate. I guess nobody in this town has ever heard of a condom. Pine Bluff was ranked with the 16th highest STD rate in the country. They were also the first entry on the list that wasn't a city. They're a town. It was like Washington DC, Memphis, St. Louis, the Bronx, Baltimore, New Orleans, Milwaukee, Jackson, Mississippi, Philly, and then a few more, and then all of a sudden, bam, Pine Bluff, Arkansas with its 40,000 people. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on in that town, but they need to knock it off. Number five, the unemployment. Like most towns that excel in sucking, Pine Bluff doesn't have many jobs, or at least many well-paying jobs. They used to have some decent factory jobs, but those dried up years ago for the most part. The unemployment rate in Pine Bluff is 41% higher than the national average. The income per capita in Pine Bluff is 42% lower than the national average. So if you're lucky enough to have a job to go to, chances are when you get there, they're not paying you much. That sucks. 
Number four, schools. If you want to be depressed and feel a little bit sad for our future generations, Google Pine Bluff School District and hit the news button. Look around. It's not pretty. They try and get as many good news stories as they can out there about the school district, but yeah, it's bad. So bad that in 2018, the state had to take over the schools from the town of Pine Bluff. That's not good. There's a total of 26 public schools and eight private schools and six post-secondary schools in Pine Bluff. The average student-to-teacher ratio is 16 to 1. That's not terrible. In Pine Bluff, an average of 81% of the students complete 8th grade and an average of 75% of the students complete high school. Like I said, not good. Number three, housing and cost of living. Now, if you've been watching this channel long enough, you know if the cost of living is really, really low and the home prices are really, really low, it's a sign that this place is really, really bad. You can buy a move-in ready home for under $50,000 in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And the cost of living in Pine Bluff is 18% lower than the national average. 18% doesn't sound bad, but it is. Now, before you do it, stop typing. A cheap house isn't bad on the surface. The low price isn't the issue. The reason why it's such a low price is the issue. And in this situation in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the why is easy to explain. The chances of you getting your stuff taken along with your life are very high. Unless, of course, you, I don't know, board up your windows at night or something. Number two, poverty. It doesn't take a degree in urban studies to know that poverty is one of Pine Bluff's hurdles. As a matter of fact, I think common sense would kind of tell you that it's the cause of all their other problems. I mean, besides the fact they're in Arkansas. The median household income in Pine Bluff is 46% lower than the national average. They're almost making half of what the rest of the country is. The poverty level in Pine Bluff is 115% higher than the national average. That's horrible. All right, and before we get to number one, don't forget there's a poll towards the end of the video. It'll be up in the top right corner. It shows up about 10 to 15 seconds left in the video. Please do the poll. It helps out with future videos. And number one. Crime. Crime is obviously the number one reason Pine Bluff is considered the most dangerous town in America. You don't get that title by having the country's largest ball of twine. If it was, Cocker City, Kansas would be the most dangerous town in America. Currently, they have the largest ball of twine and they use the most hand lotion in America. Crime and dangerous are always the worst stats and titles for any town. I'm sure Pine Bluff would swap out that title with any other title, like the town with the most student loan debt, the town with the most uninsured motorists. Hell, I'm sure they'd even take the town with the most lawyers. Not many towns would take that, but I think they would. The overall crime rate in Pine Bluff is 169% higher than the national average. In Pine Bluff, every single year, you have a 1 in 13 chance of being the victim of a crime. Those aren't good numbers. This is a town of less than 50,000 people. Why can't they get it together? This one has always confused me. It's not like Pine Bluff just had this big crime spike over the last couple years. This has been going on for decades. It's ridiculous. All right, so that's my 10 reasons why you shouldn't move to Pine Bluff, Arkansas. It's dangerous, and everything else sucks about the place. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some information out of it. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button, subscribe if you already haven't, and put that little bell notification on so you get notified when we upload a video. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.